So here we go for match day three in the Via Play Cup Group G. They've had some nice play to get themselves into good areas, Queen's Park, but finding that final ball has been an issue. Spittle, Wilkinson, O'Donnell looking to join in. It's exactly what he does. O'Donnell's ball across for a Fika, what a miss! That is incredible. Get the touch on it. He's close enough, and he's putting enough doubt in the, uh, the striker's mind. Obika took that one down well. Now Spittle provides support. Wilkinson in the middle, so too Slattery. McGinn and O'Donnell. McGinn goes for the return. Space for him to drive into here. Two out right. One of them slattery and quickly on to Abika. Space appearing for Motherwell here. A slice of fortune, but it's exactly what John Abika and Motherwell needed. He doesn't celebrate too wildly. He might have went the previous chance. He knows that this one was fortuitous. The opening goal. Well, that's good play again from Motherwell. You're right. I mean, it is fortuitous against the deflection to take it past uh, the goalkeeper Callum Ferry, but. It's good playing the build-up. Tizard helped on by Thomas. Thompson, back it goes to Thomas. They've got three flooding into the box here. Dom Thomas deflected, Kelly saves, and Hepburn misses the target. Just when Queen's Park were looking for the instant response. To Spittle, now Slattery. O'Donnell, he's got a beak in a really good position. Tizard half deals with it, Fox then slides in to challenge Wilkinson Slattery McDonnell nicely on to McGinn three in the middle here for Motherwell Abika's one so too is Suare and over the top it goes from the Senegalese left wing back it's making it so easy for Motherwell to be able to defend against it well and Fox has given that straight to Abika and now swarming forward through Slattery oh he hit it with so much power Thomas up to Peyton right side centre half, he's ended up with left, uh, left wing. Good hit from distance by Dan Casey. Might well come from Connor Wilkinson. Fox did well enough for the goalkeeper. With the huge error. And Obika so nearly profits. You know, we've been talking a lot about Paul McGinn and how he anticipates things defensively. Slattery's away from Fox, Abika again. And this time it requires the intervention from Will Tizard. Thomas. All along with plenty of players back now that certainly did hit the hand. It does go out for the corner kick and... Well, for me... So close to the defender, he's down low. Stephen McLean obviously thinks the same, but I'm pretty sure there's uh, plenty of others that would disagree. Had well, they, had they gone too far, it probably would have been given as a penalty. Yeah, I'm sure they're... Queen's Park players and fans as they hit the crossbar, and then the side netting. Well, so close to an equaliser. Well, they will have won ten in a row against Queen's Park. Going all the way back to 1957 was the last Queen's Park victory. The aggregate score in those 10 games, 26-1, so they've added another to that. And the only Queen's Park scorer is a former Motherwell player in Adam Cummings. It was six years ago at Hampden Park. Robson Fox. Again, it's a loose one. Spittle. Wilkinson. Spittle again, it was Wilkinson in fact in the middle. It's Ferry with the link play. Well, I saw the playoff game against Dundee and defensively from both sides it wasn't particularly brilliant, but it was a great game. Motherwell who move on to eight points in the group. One game to go for them. It could be a winner takes all against East Five. A defeat for Robin Feltman and Queen's Park, but it was John Abika's rather fortuitous first-half goal.